Welcome to a phase three phonics lesson where we are mastering the phonemes that we've already learnt. To take part in today's lesson, you will need a lined piece of paper and a pencil. Pause the video to get the things you need and then click play when you are ready. Let's begin. We're going to start by revisiting and recalling our letter names. And to do that, we can sing an alphabet song. Today, we're going to sing the alphabet song, all the letters. Can you sing along with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E, all the letters came to T, E, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, the food was quite delicious. O P Q R S T U V and W they came to X and Y ate all the pies and Z washed up the dishes. Poor Z. I have circled four different letters. Can you tell me their letter names? Not the phonemes, not the sounds they make, but their letter names. The first one was C. The next is M. The third is O. And the last one is W. Did you get them right? It's time for us to recall our common exception words. I'm going to show you a word, a word that we encounter quite a lot, and your job is to read it to me. If you need some more thinking time, pause the video at any point and then click play when you've had enough thinking time. Good job. Let's recall our sounds now. I'm going to show you a grapheme on the screen. That's a letter written down. And your job is to tell me the phoneme that letter makes, the sound it makes. We were mastering this one before, weren't we? Do you remember that this sound is usually found at the end of a word or before a suffix like ing? We are ready to master another phase three sound today. Let's find out what it is. 
Did you guess correctly? It's the digraph qu. We can remember the digraph qu by putting our hands together and making the shape of a beak, because a duck makes the quack sound. Can you hear qu in quack? Practice saying qu, qu. I wonder. Can you think of any other qu words? Pause the video to have some thinking time and click play when you've thought of some. Did you manage to think of any? I thought of the word quick. That's when you're in a rush to get somewhere. You might be quick. Quick has the digraph qu at the beginning. Was it at the beginning of your words as well? I did think of a word where qu isn't at the beginning. The word aqua. Aqua can be a colour. We're ready to form this digraph now. Do you know which two letter families these letters belong to? The Q has a curly bit at the start, doesn't it? So it belongs to the curly caterpillar family. And the U goes down straight and up straight. It's a ladder letter. Let's practice forming Q in the air. We're going to make a big Q first before we use our paper and pencil to make a smaller one. Putting our finger on the green dot, we're going to go around, up, down, descend under the line and flick. Excellent. Now let's try that ladder letter U. Starting at the top, we're going to go down and up down and flick. Wonderful. Can you pick up your pencil now and have a go at writing qu on your piece of paper? Follow my instruction. Starting in the middle of two lines, we're going to go around, up, down, descend under the line and flick. Take your pencil off and put it back in between two lines on your page for the U. And we're going to go down, up, down and flick. Wonderful. Is the belly of the Q and the bottom of the U sitting on the line? And is your Q and your U the same height as well? Practice forming this digraph for one minute. Pause the video, then click play when you've done that. We are definitely ready to have a go at reading some qu words now. Can you get your magnifying glass out and have a look at all three words and make sure you can spot the qu digraph? It might not always be at the beginning of a word. I think we're ready to sound out and blend these words together now. Starting at the top. Qu, it, quit. And the next one, <gasps> I've spotted something. There are two digraphs. Let's sound out the word and blend it together. Qu, ik, quick. And the last word. Have a go at sounding it out and blending it by yourself first. U, i, qu, id, liquid. Hmm, liquid is something that flows freely. It's a substance that you can pour, like a drink. We're going to write some qu words. The first word is the word quiz. You might do a spelling quiz sometimes. Let's stretch out the word quiz. Qu -i -z quiz and put it on our phoning fingers qu -i -z, quiz how many phonemes are in that word can you write them down once you've written the graphemes you might add your sound buttons
The next word is the word queen. That is a picture of the queen's crown. Let's stretch out the word queen. Qu e n queen. Can you put it on your phoning fingers yourselves and write it down? Remember to be careful of your formation of qu. You should have two digraphs written down. The last picture of a duck that is quacking. The word is quack. Let's stretch it out together. Qu, a, k, quack. And put it on our feigning fingers. Qu, a, k, quack. Can you write it down? You may want to challenge yourself to write the word quacking. The duck is quacking. We're going to move on to the answers now. If you're not ready, don't worry, just pause the video and then click play when you are ready. Can you tickle fix your spellings? The first word quiz has four letters. The next word queen has got two digraphs. Did you get them both? And the last word was quack. That also has two digraphs. You may have wrote quacking, which has three digraphs. We are going to apply our learning today and our mastery of qu. We're going to read this question. Before we read this question, have a look with your binoculars. Can you find any common exception words? And if you can, could you read them to me? There is a word in this question that I'm not sure you may have heard before. And that's the word quid. And a quid is a term used for a pound coin. A quid. I would like you to pause the video and read this question to yourself three times. You could read it in your head or you could read it out loud. You could even whisper it as well. Then click play when you've done that. Let's read the question together. Has the squid got a quid for the quiz? Let's read it with some prosody, some expression. Because it's a question, we can make our voice go higher at the end. Shall we read it together? Has the squid got a quid for the quiz? Hmm, what do you think? Has the squid got a quid for the quiz? Well done for all of your effort today. I have really enjoyed mastering qu with you today.